What's up everybody? I am BTJ Gaming and we're back with some more gameplay. It's now this is where we all left off in the previous gameplay. If you haven't seen the previous gameplay, I advise you to go check it out. It will be a little thing you can click on the right side of the screen and if I forget, just look for the uh playlist on the channel Judgment PS5. Right now we're going to be here to the ADDC. Oh crap, there's some guys right there. I think Ashino got the taxi. Oh, here we go with this wig. I'm not doing this. That was. Nah. Uh -uh. Over here, Yagami san. Uh -uh. I have a taxi for us. Do I have to choose what to do? Yeah, I'm not going after. Uh -uh. I'm good. All right, let's get in this taxi. Last time, I, last time I, t I I did that, I ch I chased the wig down, and the dude actually met up with me after claiming he had a sprained ankle caught up with me as soon as i got the wig so i'm not doing that all right so let's get out of here where are we going adc adc whatever i've heard a bit about this place before but the ADDC, isn't it just one part of a larger organization? If I recall correctly, they call it the Medical Institute. Is that accurate? <laughs> yeah. They own every last inch of this campus. <sighs> it's incredible. Even with all these buildings, they're still getting budget to expand from that new drug. So? Is it the same as you remember? Yeah. Okay, Advanced Drug Development Center. Huh? Don't go too far ahead. Yagami-san! Let me get your ass out the taxi. You got two legs just like I do. What's going on? Like, you having PTSD? Like what? What are you all shaking up for? Who was that? Calm down. Just stick with me, and you'll be fine. He has to be hallucinating. Yeah, he's hallucinating. It has to be that extract that man gave. It has to be that extract that old man gave me. Just ditch me, okay? That was kind of weird and trippy. Is something wrong? Yep, something's really the wrong. It's just... After three years, it still looks the same. Huh? Almost like time itself has stopped. Yagami-san. Come on. Front desk's over there. All right, so head to the receptions desk. Talk to her real quick. Oh, damn. Do you have an appointment, sir? Nope. I don't. Sir, we can walk in. My name is Hoshino from the Genda <laughs> Law Office. This is my partner, Yagami. We're here to talk about a murder that took place in Kamurocho yesterday. Who told you to speak uh, for me? A co-worker of ours named Shintani. He was the victim. We have a record that he called this center before he was killed. Huh? We're hoping you can help us track down exactly who he spoke to. I'm very sorry, sir, but I can't provide such private information. That's crazy. She was talking for me, like as if I'm not the the, the senior detective. Director Kido instead. He's an old friend of mine. Just let him know Yagami stopped by to say hello. Uh, I don't think that'll be necessary. Look over there. I ain't gonna lie, he's helpful though. He spot I mean anybody can spot them sideburns. The Homura's dad. <laughs> Did he know I was here? Oh crap, I think he recognizes me. Oh, he looks like his father, I guess. I guess he knows his dad or something. I don't know. 
No, no, that was when he was younger. Oh. Gentlemen, I really don't know what else you want from me. I have nothing more to say. I've told the police all that I know. Ryusuke Kiro. I'm gonna just call him Kiro. Yeah, I know. Sorry about all this, director. Bro, I don't even recognize Yagami. I thought I was like his old boy or something. I don't even look the same. Problem is, my partner here won't give it a rest till he sees the scene of the crime. But I'm sure we'll be leaving soon. Well, that's not what we agreed upon. You know this isn't about how long it takes. And what about Okubo? I take it he's still not fessed up. Uh, no, not quite as of yet, sir. But we all saw where the body was, exactly where he said it would be. Quite true. Not much point in fighting this now. The minister has made it clear that he wants it resolved soon as well. Just look at how much trouble one contractor has caused. Can't take my eyes off his sideburns. Like, that's impressive. I didn't know about this, sir. The health minister. It's all his call how much funding we get. The director, if I may, if you would just direct me to the scene of the crime, I could head over there myself. I'll be out of your hair in no time, I assure you. I'd rather you didn't wander on your own. So instead, she can show you. Terasawa-kun, these gentlemen here are Shintani Sensei and uh, Yagami. Like a squid game player. It's a pleasure. I hope I can help you find what you need. <laughs> well, with that, I'll be taking my leave. Thank you again, Director. Apologies for all the trouble. This way, I can show you how to get to Wakusan's room. Who's Wakusan? The guy who died in his room. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you are Terasawa-san, huh? You got all of that off uh, out of that? Young. And a looker to boot. Um, can we keep this professional? Mm, weird one. Huh? Nice try, Shintani-sensei. Fix your tie. Not the friendliest girl in town, huh? Wait, so we're having a we're not exactly flashback. guests here. After I busted my ass to pass the Why is he bar, walking like that? I'd have my pick of the ladies. <laughs> Why is y'all gonna be walking like that? <laughs> like he's doing a catwalk. <laughs> Alright, where are we going? Right this way, please. Arasawa. ADDC's general ward. Wakusan's room is on the fourth floor. ADDC Hospital General Ward, fourth floor. I have a feeling we're going to see something crazy. This was the room assigned to Wakusan. What's down there? That's the research wing where they develop all our new drugs. Oh. You can't get in without a gold key card, though. Not even I have one. Because mm, they know you'll probably show somebody it. I suppose because it's the heart of the center's operations. Huh. Sounds like it's a whole nother world back there. Security like that must be a bitch. Come on, Yagami. Before he died, Wakusan spent most of his time in here. And when was he admitted? Two years ago, with Alzheimer's. Some kind of dementia, right? Alzheimer's is a neurodegenerative disease that leads to dementia, yes. In fact, it's the cause of almost 70% of all dementia cases. So, they're one and the same, kind of? Anyway, do what you gotta do, Yagami. Alright, so we gotta investigate. I don't know. So investigate the bed. Uh... I mean, there's nothing on the damn bed. It's cleaned out. What the hell am I looking for? Uh -huh. 
Oh. Has anyone else slept here since Wakusan's death? The piss stain Nobody. on the bed. No. And Wakusan was missing from his room the morning of the incident, yes? That's right. So he was murdered here, then carried out. I can't say for sure, but it's likely. Working on that assumption, how was his body carried outside? I should look a little closer. Maybe they pushed the bed outside? I don't know. Oh, and I'm not even paying attention, y'all. My bad. Investigate the window. Hey. Oh, wait. Oh, I found something. Suspicious. Hey. The window sealed shut. There's no way Wakasan could have escaped through here. All right, so investigate the entrance, which is where we came from, right? All the rooms have windows like this, right? It seems like people would notice if something was going on in here. Well, we only have so many employees in this ward. The halls stay fairly busy, but it's mostly dementia patients moving Excuse between Excuse me, I'm so tired. Damn. I see. I wonder how the room looks from the hallway. You got all you need from here, yeah? I think so. All right. So let's stop investigating. Investigate the room. I guess we're going to leave. Hmm, you can definitely see what's going on from out here. Shintani Sensei, can you lay on the bed for me? Uh, I guess so. Care to join me, Terasawa san? Hell no. You got to lose. What an ass. I told her to join him. It was a joke. So, from this vantage point, you can't make out the person's face. So, was this the colossal waste of time I knew it'd be? Nope. I got something I'd only get from being here. Does it matter? It's been days. Case is practically closed. Shinpei Okubo is guilty as hell. Well, according to him, he's not. Well, of course, that's what he says. Consider the facts, though, man. You want to review the case? The facts is you're a pervert. Um, let's review the case. Sure. Let's go over what we know so far. Whatever you want. All right, here we go. Our victim was the patient staying in this room. Koichi Waku, male, age 66. At 8.30 a.m. on the morning of the crime, the nurses noticed he was missing from his bed. Given Waku's degenerative state, they assumed he was wandering around the hospital somewhere. But after being unable to track him down, Hospital staff filed a missing persons report. Right. You know what a dementia patient's like, though. Hard to imagine they'd make it outside on their own. The only conclusion, then, was that somebody must have taken him out of the hospital. After inspecting all the cars that came in and out of the center, they were left with one possible suspect. A laundry man by the name of Shinpei Okubo. It didn't take much prodding for Okubo to confess, burying Waku's body out in the mountains. I mean, he kind of low-key looks crazy in that picture. Three months after Waku disappeared, the cops found his body rotting away right where Okubo said it'd be. Cause of death was most likely suffocation, but they still don't know for sure. Any objections to this so far, Yagami-sensei? Actually, yeah. You're forgetting something. And what's that? Okubo-kun insists he didn't kill anyone. All he admits to is dumping the body. You can't say for sure that the guy who dumped the body actually committed the murder. If I budge on that, I'd be admitting Okubu Kong did it before the trial even started. Oh, sure. But come on, Yagami. Guy's got a history of assault. And it's on record. Roughed up his girlfriend. Accidentally broke her finger. Right, but that was over six years ago. He was just a kid. Got drunk, made a huge mistake. And what? It's okay for a kid to hit a woman? I mean, nobody said not. that, but you can't That's not what he's on be bent for. on what people did True. in the past either. I don't condone what he did. But legally, committing one crime doesn't mean you're guilty of another. Exactly. Fine. But what about Okubo's shaky alibi? 
He said he left the center at 10 a.m. after grabbing the sheets from the general ward. Claimed Wakusan's corpse somehow got loaded into his truck. <laughs> Who's gonna believe garbage like that? If anyone should, it's his lawyers. So, <laughs> we're meeting with Okubo after this, right? You should just be honest with him. Tell him the case is unwinnable. Are you two done here? Yep. Can you show us the garage next? The one where Okobokun parked his truck. The service entrance, I think it was. That's the only other place we'll need to see today. Yo, Yagami looks so different. Like, it's crazy. Follow me. Without the leather jacket and the hair. That's crazy. Now, what does he say we gotta what? I just can't get over the way he's walking though. It's like... Like, loose hip ass. Like... <laughs> Left, right, left, right, left, right. This could have been a cutscene, man. Hey, Yagami, you're never gonna last if you keep taking cases like this. Criminal suits are a constant test of your conviction, your sense of justice. They don't even pay that well. Careful who you say that around. Look, just chill out, okay? Take it from me. I've been around the block way longer than you have. Okay. <sighs> Looks like a regular old garage to me. Hmm. You'd make it out with no problem if you put a body into your truck down here. It's quiet. It is. Oh, reminds me of the, the, the mission yeah. where... Uh... Check this out. Franklin and um, Trevor and Michael, and I think it was a bank they robbed or something. Okubo was all over the hospital with one of these things. It would have been simple. Or jewelry they robbed? There and cart it right out. Maybe so. Well, where was Okubo parked on the day? No, nah, it was when they were stealing gold from the, uh, from some vault or something. That's what it reminds me of. Is that oh, a bank? Um, I think it was a bank. I don't know. But if you played GTA 5, you know what I'm talking about. Investigating the investigate the parking lot. All right. Um. Um. The car down here. Yeah, he's just standing on. It must be our car. Oh, I can't go that down. Um, I can't go that way. Um. The truck was parked here, with the back facing the elevator. Here's a recreation of it. I see. DNA evidence from the victim was found in the flatbed of the truck. That's proof enough that the body was there. And when they confronted Okubo, he flat out admitted it. Okay, so let me talk to her real quick. When was Wakusan last seen? Just before 8 a.m. on the day of the crime. Yeah, 7.50 to be precise. An ADDC scientist will be testifying to that. He claims he saw him nice and cozy in his bed. I see. Can we talk to this witness? I tried to get an appointment, but they shut me down. Said they don't want us interfering with their research anymore. They're not willing to make an exception this oh, bad, y'all. I ate and I'm like so tired right now. push, Yagami. Worst case scenario, you get charged with witness intimidation. All right, all right. Anyway, the victim was last seen at 7.50. That's right. Breakfast is at 8 o'clock, so the patients who can walk on their own gather in the break room. But on the day of his disappearance, 8.30 came and went with no sign of Wakusan. You thought you'd find him quickly. Didn't exactly turn out that way. Right. Got that, Yagami? Here. Let's go over some more details. So sure, let's hear what the great Shitami Sensei has to say. Oh, damn. All we know is, Waku was taken out of his room sometime between 7.50 when he was last seen, and 8.30 when everyone noticed he was gone. During that 40-minute span, 
Crazy ass man. Stuffed him into the laundry bin. That is crazy. Nobody suspected there was a body in the cart. And the only clear culprit was Okubo, the man in charge of the laundry. To further back this up, DNA evidence from Waku was found in Okubo's truck. Then when the police questioned Okubo, he confessed to burying the body in the mountains of Okutama. Three months after the crime, Waku's corpse was finally found. With me? This thing's airtight, Yagami. I know you're getting into this, but come on. Just give it up already. You don't have a chance. Even though Okubo says he's innocent, I promised him we'd do everything we could. Not my problem. You shouldn't make promises you can't keep. <sighs> Fine, then I'll do it alone. You don't have to be involved. Even if I'm not, the loss will hurt Genda Sensei's reputation. I'm sorry, but our client says he's innocent. I can't back down from this. Ah, fine. I'll be in the lobby. Um, if you like, I could take you to see Wakusan's room again. You don't mind? Oh, that would be great. I mean, if we were just here, what the hell could we have? We could we, we could find this time that we didn't find the other time. Here I am again. Don't really see anything out of the ordinary. All right, let me see. Um, talk to this. Um, are you finished? Let me just see Not something. Yet. I don't know. Just Maybe I find something. Wakasan was here until the morning of the incident. Then he just up and disappeared. Hold on, let me see. I don't know. Let me see. It says talk to her, so I'm guessing um, there's nothing. You... I'm guessing I've, I've investigated enough. Yeah, oh. I've seen what... All right. How long will Okubo-san's sentence be? Huh? Forever? Life? If he's found guilty, <laughs> that is. I don't get a death Probably penalty. Probably ten years, maybe more. It's hard to say for sure. And what if he confesses? Would they shorten his sentence? Well, at the very least, it'd make a better impression than insisting he didn't do it. But you're still going to push an innocent plea? Even though Okubo-san is the one who'll suffer for it? If he's really not guilty, he won't have to. I'll win. But to be perfectly honest, this is my first criminal case. Oh, like, wow. Civil cases have been a mixed bag for me, too. I've actually lost more than I've won. Is that so? Apparently, a smart lawyer would never even consider an innocent plea in this case. Guess it's a good thing that I'm not so smart then, because I honestly believe I can win. Terasawa said, Look at him like you. Pathetic, but that sir. I spoke to him pretty often, yes. I would see him around the ward all the time. And what did you think of him? Did he seem like the kind of guy who'd do something like this? I'm sorry. The director told us not to say too much. Wait. If you know anything that can help, just get in touch, okay? I'll do whatever it takes to set Okubo-kun free. But I can't do it alone. Just give it some thought, Terasawa-san. Okay. Oh yeah, I get to see what he looks like. Now, we went to the ADDC. Thought I should have a look at things with my own eyes. And? How did it go? There's no chance you walk. You're practically a lost cause. Hey. Yagami-sensei, is that what you think? It's like this, Okubo. You tell me you're innocent, and I'll fight to the end. You're looking at him like, you loser. <laughs> I really have nothing to lose by helping you out. Mm. It's just like I told you. Whoever did it is framing me. He looks crazy. But he looks, I don't know, it's something off about him. He may be lying about something. 
On the day of the crime, you were in the general war of the ADDC, yes? Starting at 8 a.m., you went around to each room and gathered the linens. Yes. Nobody would dispute that. And after that, you covered Wakusan's nose and mouth, suffocated him, and then carted him out in the laundry bin. That's not true. Wakusan wasn't there when I went into his room. I didn't see him at all that day. You have to believe me. And I do. So when you went down to leave the center at 10 a.m. after gathering the linens, you realized there was a body hidden in the truck. Yes. That's what happened. Then, after debating whether or not to report the body, you chose to hide it in the mountains. That's gonna be a huge credit to climb in the trial. I had a criminal assault on my record. I knew the police would have suspected me if I went to them. Aren't you forgetting the bad blood you had with Wakusan? Huh? Bad blood? What are you talking about? Three days before the murder, Wakusan claimed Okubo-kun here punched him and stole his wallet. They told me all about it at the center. When did you even ask? While you were busy chatting up Terasawa-chan. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> even if I bitch about it, I'm still damn good at my job. Well, Okubo-kun, did you take his wallet? That's crazy. Or... Not quite. They call it delusion of theft. It's a symptom of dementia. You think something's been stolen from you, then blame the first person you see. Not the easiest thing to deal with, right? Someone accuses you of theft for no reason? Must have been a shock. So when Wakusan tried to hit you, you just about hit him back. But I didn't hit him. No. You murdered him. I wouldn't kill a man over something like that. Ah. I wish I could believe you, pal. Come on, Okubo-kun. You got a record of violence. It wasn't me. I swear. Somebody set me up. Please, you have to believe me. Whoever did this is laughing at all of us right now. <sighs> Calm down. What if I was Satani? Yagami-sensei. Do you believe me? I do. Okay. Then next time, come alone. Fine. I can take a hint. You and Yagami Sensei can cuddle up all you want. Mm. Hey. You know that nurse, Terasawa san? Cute girl. It sounded like she was worried about you. Bet you'd have a chance with her once you get out of here. I don't know. If you'll excuse me. That's funny, dang. So, none of that really helped his case. So Shintani just left you hanging, huh? He's got to learn some damn patience. Maybe so. But this is my case. But so this man has always wore that myself. little Charlie Brown vest. Huh. Okay. That's crazy. All right, so um, I'm gonna end the gameplay right here. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's uh, basically we're in a flashback, and we have to basically figure out why um Yagami was looking crazy like that. But well, probably I, I don't know. The game is um. Really good. It's just, I can just tell this game is extremely long, but they go into depth explaining to you um, the backstory of everything. So I, that's pretty good. It gives you an understanding of why certain things, why certain characters are this way or that way, whatever. But other than that, uh, it's a really good game. I can't wait to beat it. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I enjoyed it so far. And um, yeah, man, um, if you watch the whole video, God bless you. I really appreciate it. And um, if you can, make sure you like and subscribe. It helps my channel grow. And uh, see you guys next time. I am BTJ Gaming. Peace.